Hey guys, what's up? Chris here from BigGoodNation.com. Today we're looking at another release from Trogues. Again, my neck of the woods. This is their Flying Mufon Barley Wine Style Ale. Except the trick to this one, it was aged six months in bourbon barrels, oak bourbon barrels. Um, this was a limited release. Um, it did get into distribution. I actually picked this one up at the brewery. It's still available at the brewery. They had this as well as the Barrel Aged Troganator um, right now. So if you want to get it, that's probably your best bet if you're local. Uh, so I have not had this yet. Flying Mouflon, one of my favorite barley wines, one of my favorite American style barley wines. I'm not a big fan of those, uh, but I really do enjoy that one. So they haven't brewed it for a while. I think what they do brew, they're just putting into barrels now from what I understand. So let me get into glass so you guys know it smells, taste. Give you the final verdict on the Flying Mouflon Oak Barrel Aged version. All right, the aroma. Wow, yeah, Whew. tons of tons of barrel oakiness, toasted coconut, some vanilla, uh, getting a lot of dark fruits on this. Uh, it's an American style barley wine, so you'd think it'd be a little hoppiness. There's a little bit of hoppiness to it, a little bit of citrus. It definitely smells like an aged American barley, American style barley wine. Caramel, toffee, really, really nice smelling beer though. All right, guys, cheers. Oh, wow. Tons of bourbon characteristic to it. Wow. Vanilla, toasted coconut, a lot of oakiness coming through. Um, plays off that American style barley wine really, really nicely. Some of that hop, the residual hoppiness still hanging around in there. A little bit of citrus, a little bit of grapefruit, definitely kind of enhanced by the oakiness um, that you're getting off this one. Lots of dark fruit in there as well. Nice caramel toffee, uh, like a burnt sugar type of uh, sweetness in there, a maltiness, really, really big body, just coats the mouth, coats the mouth uh, with that barley wine characteristic, you know, that, 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 that liquid grain, basically. Uh, definitely in the aftertaste, getting some sweetness in there, but 11.7%. Barley wine, I would expect that. More of that toasted coconut, vanilla, some dark fruits, a little bit of chocolate coming through. Um, definitely getting like a dark kind of cocoa type of flavor in there. Very, very light, but it's nice. Kind of blends, brings forward some of the barrel, kind of knocks some of the barley wine down. 11.7%. Uh, Definitely getting some warming in the in the front of the mouth, in the back of the throat, a little bit in the chest, but I would expect that. Uh, it's nice. It's a little bit boozy, but not too boozy. Just boozy enough to make you know it's there. Uh, good stuff. Really nice stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Trogues Flying Mouflon Oak Barrel Age version, 11.7% available. Now, again, very, very limited distribution. I guess it's in, and definitely at the brewery, um, just because I was there yesterday and picked it up. So if you want to get it, that might be your best bet. But guys, this one is getting an A. Uh, really, really fantastic stuff. Trogues has been stepping up their barrel aging game as of late, maybe the last couple of years. Um, they're really been going full force into it and they do a fantastic job. Tons of barrel, tons of, it's, a, it's, it's an awesome base beer. That's, I think, the key to this beer. It's a, a killer base beer. Throw it into some barrels, let it just do its thing and it came out really well-rounded. Just kind of knocked all the edges off the hoppiness, um, like the like the fresh beer has, and just took that barrel characteristic, added to the base beer, and just brought to a whole another level. Getting an A for me, awesome stuff. Remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.